We have three species of native snake in mainland Britain, and today we're going to go over them. Starting with the adder, it's the only venomous snake in the UK. I should also mention they're not poisonous, as many crap media outlets will say, poison is when you ingest a toxin, venom is when it's injected. You could eat an adder and you'd be fine, I wouldn't recommend it. They're the most northerly reptile in the world, being found well into the Arctic Circle, and in Britain, from the Scottish Highlands down to the south coast of England, though they're extremely patchy in that distribution. They feed mostly on small mammals, but will also take birds, lizards and frogs, and don't need to eat often, sometimes as little as one good meal a year can sustain them. Growing up to 80 centimetres, they give birth to live young in the summer. The colour can vary, but normally male adders have a silvery grey coloration, while females can be copper or brown. Both have a distinctive black zigzag pattern along their backs. They're also associated with open habitats, such as heathland, moorland and woodland edges. The easier way to tell an adder from a grass snake is they look nothing like each other, so stop panicking. Our next species is the grass snake. Grass snakes are larger, reaching up to six foot, though this is rare, and have a rounded pupil instead of a V pupil adders have. Grass snakes also have the yellow collar on the head, which adders lack. Generally have a grey to green all over colour, with black dots all over the body. Although called a grass snake, perhaps water snake would make more sense, as it spends most of its time by ponds, dikes and wetlands, but that doesn't mean you won't find them in woodlands, heaths and meadows also. They're great swimmers, and will dive under the water for prey, such as fish, amphibians and small mammals. Grass snakes are not venomous, so rely on speed to catch prey and engulf it whole. They lay eggs, so need warm places to do so, preferring rotting vegetation to lay the clutch of 20 or so eggs. When threatened by a predator, such as a fox or bird of prey, the grass snake has two defences. It can play dead by going on its back with its tongue out, or it can spray a foul-smelling liquid on its would-be attacker. The last entry is also the rarest the smooth snake, a species restricted to a few locations in southern England. Slightly smaller than an adder, and similar in shape, but lacks the zigzag on the back, and is more of a constrictor when consuming prey, which mostly consists of other reptiles. Heathland is the main habitat, as they offer lots of places to hide and are warm. Relatively long-lived, reaching ages of up to 20 years, they have a grey to brown colour to help blend into the roots and sticks around a heath. Although they bask, they rarely come out into full view and tend to hide away. Like all British snakes, they hibernate in the winter underground and come back out in the spring. And that's our list of three British native snakes. Thanks for watching. If you want to support the channel, liking the video and subscribing to the channel really helps me out but you can also donate to my buymeacoffee.com link and all the money that from that goes back into making new films for the YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. You can check out some other videos in the links here. Also check out my website and social media, as well as the podcast that I host, The Bearded Tits Podcast. Cheers.